G'day there, it's Marco here from Mosebull's Non-Sport Trading Cards. Today I'm doing a product review of the brand new release by Topps, the Doctor Who. Uh, this release has been delayed and delayed and delayed and it's finally come out and it's very exciting that it has come out. I know there's a lot of big Doctor Who fans out there so it's going to be quite uh, fun to see what's in here. The autograph list is huge. Um, in fact, the actual checklist is huge. The base set alone is 200 cards strong. Um, now in every single box you get 24 packs, so it would be impossible to complete a base set from the one box. But um, I'm just going to read a list here of all the different potential chase cards you can hit. So you're looking at base cards, you're looking at blue parallels, purple, red, gold and printing plate all parallel versions. You've got autographs, dual autographs, triple autographs, you've got a Christmas time subset, a companion subset, a costume relic set, cut signatures are in here as well gadget uh, check and a memorial uh, memorable moments tardis patch auto autograph tardis cards and who is the doctor chase card so there's so much in here i'm really excited it is a step into the dark for me i've never opened this product before so you're going to come on the journey with me as i do it um, once again we're opening up the brand new doctor who product by tops and you'll notice here it is a hobby box because it has that h symbol without further ado let's get into it great all right so, as you know, Doctor Who is a very, very popular series, and um, they've actually managed to get a lot of main cast autographs in here, including people like Billy Piper. So let's see how we go. All right. Let me just get that there like that. So that's what the product will look like in your local shop. Great. And that's your pack there. Let's get cracking. I'll sort out the cards afterwards, but for now, let's just see how we go. Like I said, I've never opened any of this, so it's going to be quite interesting to see what the cards look like. All right, we've started off with a companion card by the looks of things. Now that is number 46, so that looks like a base card. Another companion card. session let's have a look at this one i think this is one of the chase cards the christmas time chase card and this one is number ct1 the very first one in the set let's pop that there Whoop. and what we'll do we'll keep all the base cards in the one pile here and see how we go so a really interesting set it certainly looks quite retro um, i believe this set uh, encompasses all the doctor who's to date um, so there's plenty in here We've got Liz 10, Ace, Let's see if I can get that a bit, bit nicer for you, okay what's this, Memorable Moments Chase Card, so we've hit another Chase Card, second pack in, MM2, beautiful, let's pop that there with the other um, kit we've had. This is quite a cool set. Um, you've clearly got some of the black and white images and some of the colour ones, obviously, as Doctor Who spans through the years. As I said, there's only um, 20, uh, 24 packs in a box, so this shouldn't take too long. But it's nice to have a look and see what they've popped in here. We've hit something again. Now, this looks like a Companions Chase card. C1. A Ross, a Rose Tyler. Lovely. I'm going to pop that over here. We've got another couple of base and, yeah, just base cards. So, like I said, the base set is actually 200 cards strong, which is pretty enormous as sets go. So, so far, I believe we've had three chase hits from three packs. Not bad at all. All right. Got a base there. Another memorable moments hit. Really nice. And what's this? This looks like a red parallel. It is numbered 49 of 50. Oh. Let's see if I can get that to come up for you. Where is it? There it is. 49 of 50, foil stamped, red parallel. Nice. So that's five 
Is it five? One. Oh, what have I done here? Yep. I think we're going to end up with a lot of chase cards by the by the looks of this. So five hits from four packs. That's pretty good trading card breaking, if you ask me. All right, base card. Base. Base. All right, what's this? This is the eleventh Doctor. D eleven. Who is Doctor Who? Chase card. All right. Nice. And a couple more base cards there. So Doctor Who, as I said, very popular series. Um, and it's nice to see a show that's lasted this long and um, managed to engage a new audience in every single generation as well. A couple of base cards there. What have we got here? We have a, another memorable moments card. I reckon we're well on our way to having a set of them. MM7, that one. And a few more base cards. Once again, like I said, I really enjoy these uh, black and white cards. And I love the fact that they've kept them in the original form. It does give you a good sense of the legacy of this show. Base card. Just upside down there. Let's turn her around. Base. Base. The Vort. It's a gadgets card, this one. Our first one of them. So every single pack so far has had a hit. So I'll tell you what, if you've got money left for just one pack at a show, I think Doctor Who's your best bet by the looks of things. So it looks like Top's held this off to get it right, and it looks to me like they have. Base, another hit, memorable moments. Beautiful there. Base card. Pretty sure that's all base. Base. And base. Nice. All right. So there is plenty of different types of cards that we can hit. Let's see how lucky we are. We have a base. 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 So what is this? This looks like a Christmas time card to me. CT3. Really nice. Base and base. So some legendary characters in there as you can see. We're just going to get straight into the next pack. There's just too much here. Base card. Another memorable moments card. Oh. And look at this. We have hit a Doctor Who or authentic costume relic. It's not numbered. But that's not a bad hit at all. Sally Sparrow's coat. Really nice. Let's pop that. Just there. We'll give it its nice little home. All on its own. So we've hit a wardrobe card, nice hit there from uh, one of these packs so far. Let's see how we go. Base, base, upside down base, 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 and lucky last, base. So there you go, and that is, we're officially halfway through the box. With this pack, we've hit our wardrobe card. Base. Memorable moments again. And we've hit another card. Who is the Doctor? D1, the first Doctor. So very lucky there. Two hits in one pack and some more base. All right. Let's see how we go in the second half. We've been very lucky in the first. All right. Your base card there. Another memorable moment. We've already seen this one. So it looks like a double in the box. Base, 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 and 
base. All right, let's keep it moving. I've just noticed, a bit slow, Some every pack seems to have different doctors on it, which is pretty cool. Base, base, base. Another companion's card here, uh, Perry Brown. Lovely. All right, a couple more base cards there as well. So there's six trading cards per pack. Let's see how we go. We have a base. Base. Another memorable moments card. Nice. The seventh doctor. So two hits in the one pack. Really nice. Base and base. They've done these cards quite nicely. I love the fact that they are, uh, you know, there's quite a clear, distinct design on the base cards, which is always nice. So we're getting quite a lot out of a box. Base. Another memorable moments. Plenty in there. Base. Base. Base and base. All right. So, like I said, this is a really, really loaded release by the looks of things. There's been one hit a pack so far. Base. 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 We've hit a gadgets card. One of the most important things the Sonic screwdriver. Really nice base and lucky last base so we are coming to the last few packs here so it's been a very fun little break um, let's see what else is in store for us base card base memorable moments nice base card base and base Alrighty, home stretch here. Let's see how we go. Base, base, base. Another Christmas time card. Get that to focus. Nice. There it is. Beautiful. Base and base. All right, let's pull the last few packs out. You can watch them go down as I open them. All right, we've only got two cards. This one is Memorable Moments, so that's a hit. And we also have a TARDIS patch card. Of the second doctor. Really nice that. Look at that. So they, I believe, will be our two hits from the box, which is very nice. And that mountain over here is all the chase cards we've hit. Base. Oh. Base. Base. Base, base, and base. Alrighty, last four packs now. So if you are a Doctor Who fan, make sure this one doesn't pass you by. It's a really nice release. Base card, base, base, base. And you can buy these by the packet at collector shows that I attend. Or um, you can also buy them online by the packet as well. Just don't forget, you're going to have to factor in the price of postage. And base card. Base. We've hit another memorable moments card. <clears throat> base. Base and base. Yep. And lucky last pack. So 
we have a base card. Base. Base. And we've hit a Christmas time card nice and late. The Runaway Bride. Base and base. Well, so that has been the box break for Doctor Who, the brand new Tops release. Um, if this interests you, like I said, please jump on gimco.com.au, find my name there is Mosbill, and from there you can find yourself some Doctor Who packs for sale. Uh, if you'd like to buy any of the products that I've pulled out today, they'll be online for a short while till they're sold out. As, it, as always with trading cards, it's collectible, so once they're gone, they're generally gone. Um, thank you for watching. Once again, I am Mosbill from the Non-Sports Trading Cards, and um, happy collecting.